just in. Within the last 12 weeks, have you or someone been affected by cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, or constipation? You may be one out of the one in five Americans diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. Doctors are unsure of the causes. The population more at risk includes people under 35 years old and women. Signs and symptoms worsen around periods, probably related to hormonal changes. Also, those with a family history of IBS are at an increased risk. If you fall under any of these circumstances, beware. Irritable bowel syndrome is a group of symptoms that include bloating, <coughs> cramping, gas, diarrhea, and or constipation. It's a functional disorder of the large intestine that stores poop, muscles contracting causing gas, diarrhea, bloating, and constipation. Diagnosis is clear, often by elimination, abdominal pain, at least 12 weeks, change in bowel movement pattern, straining or urgency, mucus in the stool, and bloating. There are few triggers that can be avoided. These include fatty foods, foods like fast food, fried foods, meat, chocolate, and milk. Alcohol and carbonated beverages promote bloating. Some fruits and vegetables like broccoli, onions, and beans also promote bloating and pain. Also, stress aggravates symptoms of IBS, however it does not cause them. There, re there is a relationship between the parasympathetic nervous system that governs your GI system and the sympathetic nervous system that governs a stress reaction. Our bodies are always striving for homeostasis or a balance between the two. So with a poor diet and high stress, you are increasing the risk of antagonizing your IBS. Some red flags to look out for are new onset over 50 years old, weight loss, rectal bleeding, fever, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea that awakens you. Seek medical care to rule out more serious disorders or disease if these apply to your situation. Tests that can be performed to rule out IBS are colonoscopy, CT of the abdomen and pelvis, lactose intolerance test, and blood tests for celiac disease. Don't be alarmed, folks. There are some measures that can be taken to treat IBS. Eliminating gas-causing foods, such as broccoli, onions, and beans. Cut back the intake of fatty foods, caffeine, and alcohol. Increase fiber in your diet and or fiber supplements. Probiotics and yogurt can replenish the good bacteria in your gut. And digestive enzymes to aid digestion are important to improve your GI function. Also, it is important to increase your daily fluid intake to 8 to 10 8 ounce glasses of water to prevent constipation. Also, adding daily exercise like jogging and including some relaxation or meditation to decrease stress will improve your symptoms. With a few lifestyle modifications through diet and exercise, it is possible to live a relatively free symptom from IBS.